Okay, let's see if we can back this up just a little bit here. Okay, I want Leo testing the screen. Here we go. I want to get 5 million views. And I have a hard, sharp knife. It's a Samsung <laughs> screen. <laughs> testing it. Not to a see scratch. It's pretty hard how well it holds to use up. a sharp knife. Also, the panel by itself is thin and will bend when it's on it. Andy said this. Oh, it's right, here he goes. He's bending it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Oh, please. I think I'm bleeding. Ah, Leo. damn. <laughs> oh. Well, do not there you go. Medic. Didn't hold up very well. <laughs> please sweep those glass he, shards off of the he, table. Is that glass? <laughs> glass went everywhere. Yeah, well, there's so a let me, let me stop the recording. <laughs> is, is that... So what led up to this is there's a video out there showing uh, a supposed screen for the upcoming iPhone that is Sapphire. We don't know for sure, but that he's bending it and, and torture testing it. Let me see if I can find that video and I'll just give you a quick look at that. Let me pause this. And crystal clear to take those great shots through it. And the home button also needs to be crystal okay, clear to be able to read your it. fingerprint through the glass. So again, a little forward it's to where okay he's... with bending at least now, a little look, bit. A little gonna bit bend of torque, it. a little bit of flex, a little bit of give here and there. And I've never handled a, a similar 4.7 inch Gorilla Glass panel, but assuming this is Sapphire, I got really curious about exactly how durable this is. So, so here you go. I broke out a knife, you can see and here, I broke out doing the keys, knife. He's and I did some scratching, the key or at least I thought I was doing some scratching. Okay, and I'm gonna skip Basically, forward I took the to knife where he's bending it. Pretty hard, right in the middle, and drag the point. See and lastly, I tried to bend it. Here we go. First, like seriously bend it. So at first I was kind of tentative because I thought maybe Just there's a, a chance I there. might break it, uh, maybe shatter it, but I slowly realized there is absolutely no way I can break this display under my own power. There's no chance. Uh, I have a feeling Look I could this. drop a rock on it, but really I couldn't get the surface to even scratch a little bit at all. Look the at worst this. blemish on the surface was actually my fingerprint marks and the dust from handling it so much. All right, so that's basically what Leo was replicating with the Samsung uh, uh, glass or whatever you want to call it, Gorilla Glass or whatever. And of course it shattered and cut his finger and so forth. Again, just once again shows you that iPhone's the way to go. iPhones are well made. Uh, Apple looks at all these details and don't mess around with that Samsung junk or any Android junk phones. Stick with iOS. Thanks for watching.